So I guess like what, like how do you sort of deal when it comes with uh, working in a community, an arts community, creative community, because putting yourself out there, you put yourself out there for crit critiques, but also mm -hmm. haters as well, are yeah. just people that just will, will, will envy your yeah. success, success and everything. So I guess how do you sort of deal with that? Uh, not only like in real life, but also online when people come at you. I learned at a young age is that you're always going to be judged, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was taught that. And if you're doing something and if you're making moves and you're doing something that you believe in and, and that it speaks um, and, that, and that you really be and you really back and, and want to create, um, I hope I get a reaction, right? Um, I think you got to be yourself, right? Um, but it also, it, it, it teaches you that you're doing something right. Yeah. If people are hating, they're noticing you yeah. and they're willing to take the time, Yeah. right? I think that's that the- time the, and energy. The, yeah, yeah, like if they're willing to take the time out of their day to like try to call you out or like stir up something, one, like you're on their mind. Yeah. So you did something right, you know? Uh, secondly, um, you hope that if they are hating, um, you didn't do something that was out of uh, context or out of, uh, you know, was ethically not right, yeah. or morally, or was offensive, right? Yeah. Uh, because, you know, someone like, look at someone like Eminem, right? That yeah. dude's got however many haters based on his like antagonistic lyrics, you yeah. know? Or um, you can really poke at people. Um, and that's what um, I never really tried to do with, yeah. my, with art and creating. Um, I, I'm more focused on like a positive like, thing. So like when you sort of get that reaction from people, is it like you just sort of push it aside um, and just not even think about it? I think majority of the time to ignore something like that isn't the wisest, most responsible thing to do. Um, it's, it's taking a, a breath, thinking about a response instead of reacting yeah. out of instinct. Yeah. Um, I think that's a really important thing to do rather than lash out. Yeah. Don't like keep your emotions down. Because yeah. when you make art, and you pour yourself into a wall, yeah. whether that's me working on a wall independently or me and the, our, you know, the, the sonar crew working on a project. I mean, there's projects that I, I take several months to set up, yeah. uh, 50 to 60 hours to paint, and then get attacked for it, you know? And I have to make that decision of consciousness. Like, do I react or do I just sit yeah. and I think about a response that is a little bit more educated, but also can help educate my critic yeah. about like why this project took place. Yeah. So I guess like as you sort of grow in your own sort of uh, art self, um, you sort of come across a lot of that. And I guess you sort of like just really sink into your own sort of style and your own sort of realm and what you want to achieve as an artist. It's kind of like that's what you think about first and that sort of what people, how people react type of thing. Uh, it's taken into consideration yeah. and I think it's one being aware of the other art that's around yeah. right because obviously you want to stand like yeah. different and, and I pride myself on individuality you yeah. know as far as like style and like not fighting someone's work and whatever you know um, but I think the more risks you take you end up earning rewards that you don't realize uh, just become yeah. reality you know and and those are the, like, it's there, like you get challenged and then that's yeah. like allowing you to grow, grow yeah. but also like formulate responses too, you yeah. know? Um, or just realize like, like you said, you don't have time, dude. Yeah. Like you want to just keep yeah, creating. I all, yeah. all I want to do is create yeah. and, and that's like ultimate bottom line, yeah. you know?